Hi, welcome to this tutorial um, on how to create a smart home using a Raspberry Pi. In this specific tutorial, I'm going to show you how to control a garage door. Um, this is a fairly simple tutorial, um, but this to actually get this working, um, I had to spend quite a long time figuring out how to do this. And in the end, I've just adopted a, an approach which is very, very simple. Um, and you can do more sophisticated things if you want, but this is actually very simple and it works very effectively. So I'm going to share that with you now. Um, so the objective of this tutorial is we're going to create a switch in the KNX system, um, which when you press it will effectively open the garage door, so turn on the garage door motor. Uh, to do that we're going to have to create a JavaScript file which will listen to a specific event on the KNX bus, and then when it hears that event it will initiate the garage door and motor um, through the GPIO pins, actually through a relay, but the GPIO pins switch the relay on the Raspberry Pi. So this is what the setup looks like. We have our, Ras uh, our KNX switch and the KNX data bus. So when you hit the switch here, the data packet um, passes down the, the KNX bus, is listened for by the Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi then um, uh, sends out a message on its uh, GPIO pins, changes the voltage on one of its GPIO pins, which triggers a relay. Um, and and turns on the uh, the garage door motor through 240 volt power, and what it does is it it is it um, it leverages a um, uh, functionality of the Hormon garage doors in that you you only have to send a little spike of of power um, for it to initiate the whole um, uh, garage door opening or closing, um, and I'll show you that. So effectively we we just send a little spike of, of power on this relay so it's not on all of the time so it doesn't draw that much power so what we're doing if you look at the Hormon garage door manuals you'll often come across a, um, a, a wiring picture like this and, and this shows you how to how to do the wiring on the um, Hormon garage door size so effectively what they have is they have a push button um, which will make the door go up or closed or it'll stop it. So if it's in motion and you press it, it'll stop. Um, if it's closed and you press it, it will open it. If it's open when, and then you press it, it will close it. And it will do all of those things just through a, a normally open switch. And you basically can, this shows you which bits to connect up to your switch. So in our uh, wiring, um, we will be connecting, uh, rather than having a switch here, we'll be connecting into this um, non-latching non relay. So you'll have to look at the, the garage door motor manuals to figure out which, because they all do vary slightly, but they all have this kind of functionality, this, this simple push switch, and um, um, you'll have to figure out which, which um, elements to, uh, uh, to, to plug it in. But it was very obvious which, um, uh, to me anyway, which, uh, uh, which connectors I needed to use um, for this switching. So for the relay I used a Adafruit non-latching relay. These are great. Um, they they handle 240 volts. Um, they, there's lots of great documentation and they cost about um, six or seven dollars so really not not very much at all. Um, and it's very simple to connect. You, you connect the three volts from the Raspberry Pi to this port uh, the ground from the Raspberry Pi to this port, and then the um, the GPIO pin which you're uh, varying um, for the signal um, um, to to this port, and then you uh, have your uh, in the relay um, you have you connect um, to your common and you're normally open here um, for your 240 volts, so that would be equivalent to um, to these two um, uh, connections here would be. Would be these two connections here. Um, there's great documentation online. It shows you all of the wiring. Uh, if you're in any way uh, unclear about what they would be, this is uh, my wiring. Um, so you can see the uh, the three volts and the ground coming in here, and then the signal from the GPIO. Um, or this is connecting to the Raspberry Pi. So there's just three connections here, and then two connections here. Now I've, you can't see those connections because. There's 240 volts running through that, and I've insulated that off. Um, but that's effectively what what we've got. Um, there's, as I mentioned, there's great documentation online. On if you go to the Adafruit, and uh, whoops, come back to me. Um, so we've got yeah, we're using the the Adafruit um, uh, mini relay uh, Featherwings, 
Um, and there's two different types. There's a non-latching and latching. We want the non-latching. And this basically just talks you through how to what each of the um, uh, connectors do. Um, so it's everything you could need. There's a, a nice overview. Um, so there's lots and lots of information which I would strongly recommend you uh, use. But these are just fantastic little pieces of kit. So you need to get yourself one of those, um, but they don't cost very much at all. Um, and then to and then you'll need to wire that up to the Raspberry Pi in that manner. Choose a GPIO pin, um, connect, uh, wire this up to the um, uh, wire up your 240 volts to the connections on the um, uh, the garage door motor, uh, and then you'll be good to go. So what we'll do then is you need to download a garage door.js uh, uh, file which is on uh, the GitHub, and drop it into the utilities folder. Um, and you will need to make some uh, um, changes to that. You'll need to put in your own KNX bus um, address, um, i.e. the one that's listened for, which will initiate the, the, the GPIO pins. Uh, and you will need to amend app.js to include GarageDoor.js. So this is loaded in when, when app.js is, is run. And so basically this is what you do, you download and save garage.js to the utilities folder, you amend app.js to include the garage.js file, amend garage.js to listen to the specific bus event, and you might also need to download um, the on-off uh, library from npm if you need, because the garage.js uh, leverages that. So I'll just quickly show you the code. It's very very short. So we're requiring a couple of uh, functions um, from the KNX uh, underscore EIB library which um, I've shown you how to initiate before and effectively what we're doing is we're, um, we're, we're um, importing the write to bus function so that allows us to uh, write. Oh, I actually don't think we need that. Um, uh, no, I don't even think we need that one. And then we require uh, the event listener for the KNX event, so we're, we're, we're loading that. We're requiring the GPIO um, uh, functionality, the library there. Um, we're creating a new uh, garage door uh, uh, object here, which is listening on, in this case, on pin 24, and it's just an out. Um, this You might change this depending which pin you, is your, you're connecting to the signal uh, of the um, feather um, you'll need to change this, so it depends which which GPIO pin you need, and um, it'll change that there. We then console that we that this is actually running, and then we have a couple of functions here. Um, one, uh, effectively, which is you know a function called open the garage door, and so when um, uh, when this function is called, um, it 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 sends that pin high um, for just um, quarter of a second which is all we need and that works fine. So we're just sending a little pump, uh, pulse of, of power um, to the relay um, and it's uh, closing the relay just for that short period of time and that's enough um, to initiate the um, the garage door. And then this is sort of tidying up things here. And then this is the event listener here. So when we hear a bus event, um, if the uh, data destination of that bus event is is this particular address, and again, you'll, you'll have to change this address uh, to, to the one that you set up in your KNX system uh, to be listened for. Then we're going to console log that the garage door has been pressed and we're going to open the garage door. So we're going to call this function, which will send that little pulse. And that's it. Um, it's very simple and, and it works very effectively. And I'll include a little video on uh, of it working. I've had it running now for about six months in my house and it is rock solid. Okay, um, well, I hope you enjoyed that video and um, uh, yeah, I hope to speak to you soon. Okay, bye-bye.